What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Orcs Must Die 3. We are going through the Tipping the Scales DLC that just launched and next up we're going to get us 5 skulls on Oasis Outpost. Let's hop in and get it done. Now for this run we've got two main ground lanes plus a flyer lane. In fact we'll have one wave that is flyers only with the ground lanes closed. And the battle on this one, as always, is that part time. The nine minutes on this map does burn super quick. So although there's some really good spots uh, like this corner with a nice ceiling uh, to build some awesome kill boxes, the part time just burns so, so fast. So we're going to start off at our first viable double wall and we're going to go right here. Basically, we want to get as close to spawn as possible and just get the part time chewed up. So we're going to start off here with a double grinder, a brimstone, a couple walls, and an arrow wall. Let's just let it fly here. We will have two waves to build this one out a little bit. Now, um, as we get through this one, the things to look out for is, you know, there's ogres, of course, rolling out right in wave one. Uh, additionally, there is going to be quite a few earth elementals, and we know those earth elementals love to be extra tanky, uh, run through your kill boxes, and then pop on the other side of them. So... Definitely want to watch out for the Earth Elementals, and as you see, they do arrive right here in Wave 1. So using that Jar of Ghosts to ease the tension a little bit, but want to get those Earth Elementals to pop inside the kill box. Uh, as soon as those grinders jammed up, I'm going to go ahead and pop my Trap Reset Trinket, just to give a little bit more of an assist. Now you see I'm taking massive, massive damage here. Uh, no doubt, the challenge here is get your Mike Tyson on. you got to have your Bob and Weave. Uh, of course, you can sell those grinders to unjam them uh, part of the way through. I'm going to just try to get this kill box built out as best as we can here. And death will happen if we don't run down and get some heals, which, uh, you know, obviously, if you run down and get some heals, you can avoid some of that. But we are trying to save as much part time as possible. So we did get uh, just the one ogre push through so far. We're going to have a little bit of cleanup to do here, but not too bad. So... The new rangers, uh, as archers like to be in this game, they will shoot you right in your head quite frequently. So uh, let's get one more grinder over here. And as soon as we get this ogre down here, we want to go ahead and bail for the other lane. So the archers coming through will just die off. Basically just want to shave as much part time as we can here. So we're going to be starting off over in this lane now. We're going just right up once again at the front of that little double wall area. So um, actually, let's go like this for the first wave uh, on that lane and let it fly. Now we're gonna be starting off up on this side and uh, just wanna be aggressive, get these guys mowed down. There will be quite a bit of cleanup to do on the other lane as we get over to it. So uh, we wanna make sure to pluck off the ogres and anything that's a little bit tankier here get those burned out first because we want to bail on this lane as soon as we can. Let's go ahead and drop the jar here and start working on that uh, earth elemental. And basically as soon as the other lane starts pounding on the door, we want to be able to get over there. So like here, the best route is going to be to get this ogre down. Let's get the ogre down. Once the ogre's down, they're breaking through. We can take a quick uh, shortcut through the rift and get a little heal here. But we're going to just want to get over as we do have, you know, not much here. So the push is going to be real on this lane for this first wave. We're going to have to just get as much love as we can up front here. Going to go ahead and pop that trap reset trinket just to help out a little bit and uh, kind of clear them all off. We got, um, you know, this is the roughest wave, really, I think, out of the whole thing just getting through this one and not chewing up just an enormous amount of part time. So I'm going to get a little heal here and just let these guys push in, let my mana regen a little bit. Let's get rid of this troll here. Once again, going to let just let my mana regen and then we'll get these guys cleared off. Now, obviously we need to really get some build out going here. If we look though, uh, this particular next wave is going to be about the same as the last one. Now, you do have those two splody kobolds for the first wave here. However, that's why we took the barricades that take the reduced damage is 
they're not there's not enough to kill your barricades. So as long as you took the reduced damage, you're gonna be fine right there. Let's go ahead and pop a jar and grab this coin here. And uh, we're just gonna let this kill box, you know, we can help this kill box a lot just by adding in one more barricade there. I do wanna save some of my coin for the other lane here now. So you see we got two ogres at the end of this one up top. Uh, we do want to get those ogres burned out before we bail over to the other side. So let's start backing up. Ogres down, and let's get on over here as the push is coming. So as we get this area built out, of course, it will be a little bit easier and a little bit easier to deal with. we got a touch more going here now. Uh, we also have an opportunity to throw down some more arrow walls real quick, which will help anything that gets pushed through. And... This kill box over here, we can actually make quite strong, having that double wall. Uh, we do have a usable ceiling as well, even though I haven't gotten my ceiling lasers up yet. That's something I'm going to want to prioritize. Let's go ahead and get a window up there as well to help a little bit with that CC. And um, just burn them out. Now, next up, we have flyers only. So for the flyers, we're just going to kill those ourselves, basically. I'm going to put a few arrow walls in for last resort, but we're going to take advantage of the insane power of flyers, or, or the insane power of the stone staff, I should say, versus flyers. So we've got that increased range of the secondary, specifically for this reason. I'm probably going to die here, but yeah, no big deal. Um, we do have those arrows up there as kind of a last resort, but... Once again, all about the stone staff. The stone staff is just so glorious in that particular example. So let's see. We are looking pretty thick here now. So let's go ahead and push on up. The other side doesn't have any enemies this time. So we are able to um, just focus on the flyers here. So get that uh, assassin down first. Let's make sure these flyers are good and dead. As soon as the flyers are down, we can focus on the ground lane, of course. And did that get them? No, we actually have one more wave. Let's uh, get the rest of these flyers chewed up. Am I out of mana? Eh, we're good. So I can go ahead and dip on in for a quick heal. We see that uh, other lane is cracking open now. However, we got a little bit of a nicer kill box going here now. Let's take that one step further and go ahead and get our ceiling lasers in. Give us a little bit more consistent damage. Now, this DLC, uh, the new enemy, the Tutaras, they are all about using dots and uh, continuous damage traps. They are hit capped, so if you have a heavy hitting single target defense, it is not going to... Ooh, got wrecked there before I get my jar off. If you have a hard-hitting single-target defense, the damage that it outputs is going to be capped. So uh, we're actually looking pretty good. Let's go up here and make this kill box just a touch thicker. And uh, let's see. What do we want to do? Well, we can throw in another grinder there. Once again, I'm just going to ignore... I'm going to ignore the kobolds because they, it's not enough for them to get through. Now, we do have flyers. So, uh, as always, flyers first. Let's, uh, oh, we're actually already healed up, so we don't need to really sweat that too much. But let's get all of these flyers good and dead. Uh, as soon as the flyers are dead, then we'll, of course, look and see what pushed through. Take the quick route back. Or is it? It may not actually be the quick route on this one. It's pretty close. All right, so there we go. Um, let's see. It looks like nothing is going to push through. Oh, spoke too soon. We did have one ogre push through there, so we're in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and pop our trap reset just to help out that other side. And we've got 37 seconds left. And this is all we've got left to kill is this group right here. So as I mentioned, the part time is close on this one. You can easily squander away those nine minutes, uh, no doubt about it, just exploring the map, as it is a cool looking map, you know, it's fun to run around on. Let's go ahead and back up and get the range mobs into our kill box, and there we go, so just 15 seconds left to spare. That one is pretty tight on the part time, I think the first time I did it, I finished it with like maybe 30 seconds left, so 
it's definitely can be very tight on that part time. You want to stay active the entire time. But uh, that will do it for now. Thanks a ton for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.